Hi, I'm Anna, from Graham Kinnear Property Consultants and this is a short presentation to explain what happens once party wall notices have been served. The notices that we serve, to comply with the Party Wall Act, give the recipient 14 days within which to provide a response. We enclose a response form with the notice, so it is as easy as possible for your neighbours to respond to us. Within the notice, there are four options, that they can select. Two of these represent a consent to your proposed works, and two of them represent a dissent to your proposed works. I shall outline each of these for you. The first option is that they can consent to the notice. Should they select this option, then that is your party wall obligations concluded, and you are able to commence with the works without any further effort, or cost, in respect of party wall matters. The second option is that they consent, subject to us preparing a schedule of condition, of those aspects of their property, which could be conceivably damaged by the works that you are proposing. If this option is selected, then we will arrange to visit your neighbour's property and undertake this survey. In these circumstances, the survey will be made available to you and your neighbour and it will act as evidence of what issues or damage existed prior to your development works commencing. The third and fourth option constitute a dissent to the notices, and will therefore require the appointment of one, or two, surveyors, to produce and serve a party wall award, which will ultimately authorise the works that you propose to undertake. The third option is that the neighbour can concur to our appointment as agreed surveyor. In this case we will prepare and serve a party wall award to authorise the works, following which work on site can commence. The award will include a schedule of condition of the neighbour's property, assuming that access has been provided by your neighbour. The fourth and final option is that they dissent to the proposed works and appoint their own surveyor. In such circumstances, we would work with their appointed surveyor to prepare and produce a schedule of condition and party wall award, following which works could commence. In this case it is likely that you would be liable for the neighbour's surveyor's fees as well as our own. As an aside, we are often asked what happens if your neighbours do not reply to the party wall notice. In this case, after the 14-day notice period has elapsed, we are obliged to send a further notice, which gives your neighbour a further 10 days within which to respond. Failing which we are entitled to appoint a surveyor for them. In this way, the legislation protects against a lack of response preventing you from ultimately undertaking the work. I hope this presentation has gone some way to explain the party wall notice process. Should you have any further questions or queries, then please contact our central administration office on 01843 583 000.